Howdy! We want to welcome you to the opening of the Brazoria County Expressway. Located on State Highway 288, the northern 5.3 miles of Brazoria County, tying into the southern part of 288 in Harris County, a 15 plus mile managed lane facility that is electronically tagged only, no cash booths, that will relieve congestion on 288 and provide easy access to the Houston Medical Center. It's a project that has been in the works for almost 20 years and we're proud to say that we're now open for traffic. My name is John Willie. I was County Judge of Missouri County from 1995 until 2007. We had a dream. We dreamed that one day we would see the completion of the expressway in Missouri County. We worked very closely with a lot of people and I appreciate the succeeding administrations here, Judge King and Judge Sebesta, for their work on the project to see it into fruition. I thank Judge Sebesta for letting me say a few words and I congratulate all those involved for their hard work. Thank you. I'm Ed Thompson, State Representative, House District 29. I'm so excited about the Brazoria County Toll Road Authority and the 288 expansion. It's something that we've been working on for many, many years here in Pearland and in Brazoria County. But I see this as a great economic development tool for our community. I see opportunities for development that we've never seen before in Brazoria County. I thank y'all for all the hard work and everyone's ability of coming together and working together to get this done. Thank you. Brazoria County Expressway project is very special to the city of Pearland. When 288 was first opened, it unlocked a lot of land and potential for growth in Pearland. An expansion and addition of toll lanes that have just been completed will continue to bring new opportunities for growth and the development of our great city of Pearland and to all of Missouri County. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Commissioner Stacy Adams. and What a great and exciting day to see the ribbon cutting and opening of the 288 Expressway. This added capacity for Missouri County is gonna help the county grow in the future. As projects like this take years for completion and through the dedication of the Missouri County Toll Road Authority under the leadership of Gary Idu, this project has come to fruition. I also wanna thank the public for their patience during the building of this project. We know there's inconveniences as you try to get around and we hope with the final product and the mobility that it offers, you'll see it was all worthwhile. Good morning. Uh, I'm Eliza Paul, the District Engineer of the Textile Houston District. We're here today to celebrate the opening of State Highway 280 Expressway and the Tollway in the Harris County and Brazoria County. Over the years, the Northern Brazoria County community has seen significant growth in the region. Once where there were farm and open fields, today you got commercial development and also master plan communities in the area. So we are here to celebrate the opening of State Highway 288 Expressway in Tollway in both the Harris and Brazoria County today. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you for asking me to speak today. I'm excited about the completion of our 288 project. It's one of the first concession projects in the Houston district, and it meets a critical transportation need in this area. We're thankful for all the dedicated efforts of, of everybody concerned with the project. My name is Gary Idu, Chairman of the Missouri County Toll Road Authority. In 2003, the Commissioner's Court had the foresight to form the authority to prevent other entities from making decisions for Missouri County. Missouri County Expressway is a boon to our local economy, future growth, and most important, traffic congestion on State Highway 288. This is Kevin Cole with the Greater 288 Partnership. What a great day this is for Missouri County and the City of Pearland. The major artery into our county, 288. It's finally here. This has been a work in progress for quite a while, and the partnership had a hand in getting this project off the ground, and it is a great day to be able to cut this ribbon and get this roadway and this infrastructure underway. I also want to make sure that we give a special thanks and a special shout out to former TxDOT Commissioner Ned Holmes, because it was through his leadership negotiating with Harris County to get TxDOT back in the lead of that project. Let's go enjoy this new roadway. Thank you. I am so happy to be a part of the Brazoria County Expressway Project's grand opening. As someone who is always driving from one end of this district to the other, 
I can tell you that this project will bring many benefits to Brazoria County and Southeast Texas. We now have an additional four toll lanes, 18 new toll direct connectors and improvements to the functionality of the interchanges in between. I look very much forward to less traffic on the Brazoria County Freeway and the improvements that this project will bring to our district. I can't express how happy I am that we're finally opening the Brazoria County Expressway. We've been talking about this project, I know personally since 2004, but there were numerous individuals long before that working into moving this project forward. Which brings me to my main point. A project like this doesn't happen without some amazing people and an amazing team. So I want to start by saying thank you to the county commissioners and the county judge. Y'all made the decisions that needed to be made to look out for the citizens of Brazoria County. This project wouldn't happen without y'all's leadership. And then my amazing staff here at the Engineers Department in Brazoria County, specifically Clay Forrester, who managed this project. Thank you very much. The Brazoria County Expressway was almost 20 years in the making. Lots of folks had a lot to do with making this project work. Going back to Judge John Willie and the court back in 2003 for putting together the Brazoria County Toll Road Authority, to Dennis Bonin who helped put together the legislation to make it happen, Congressman Randy Weber, his time in the House for helping work on that project as well, and Representative Ed Thompson for his work to make sure that we had direct connectors to Beltway 8, which was very important. Thanks to the 288 partnership headed by Kevin Cole and Woody Owens for their support, our work with Pearland EDC, the City of Pearland and Mayor Tom Reed, TxDOT and the folks at TxDOT, Quincy Allen, Eliza Paul, and Varuna Singh, and of course the Brazoria County Commissioner's Court, thanks to them all through the years for working on this, especially Commissioner Adams for his work in helping make this project come together, and of course our County Engineer Matt Hanks and his team for working on this project for so many years to bring it to fruition. Thank you all for all that you've done to make this project a reality.